I use Namecheap for all my domains uh, in particular because they allow alias DNS entries and not all places do. So I recommend them. I'm going to call this thing acornchat.com, which is a domain that I know is available. So hopefully this shows available. There it is. Add to cart. Let's check it out. So I have Acorn Chat. I'm going to auto renew that. I'm going to have Who is Guard. I don't need premium DNS yet. Um, and I don't need any kind of SSL certificate because Heroku is going to take care of that. I like to set up email next. Uh, I have a, G, a paid G Suite account, and so I can add another domain to it so I don't have to pay twice. Then what I want to add is a domain alias. And so I can type in Acorn Chat. And I'm going to verify domain ownership. To do that, I need to add a TXT DNS entry. And so I can click continue. And this is the domain entry I need. And so I'm going to copy that and go back to Namecheap here. And it, in, under advanced DNS, here we have the existing records. I'm going to add a new TXT record. And this is just like a value that sits on your domain that other sites can read. And so I'm going to apply that here. And now it's applied in Namecheap. Sometimes it takes a few minutes before it propagates. But if I go back and I try to verify my domain, that took about two minutes to run, uh, but now it is verified right here. And this again is my paid G Suite account. In this options box here, it's kind of hidden. And so this is sort of tricky. You go to manage inbox settings and under accounts, here's all of my email accounts and I can add another one, add another email address. And I'm going to make this email address chris at acornchat.com and I want to treat it as an alias. And if I click next step, now if you see this page, this means your domain in Google has not propagated through all their servers yet. And this frustrated me like crazy when I first figured it out. Just wait an hour or two, it sometimes takes that long, and then try again. So this didn't work this time. If it has been propagated though, you will see a success message instead of this page, and you'll be able to send email to your new email address.